so good. I f oh, fuck. Ah! Guys, don't tell her. 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 Anyways. Uh, um. Uh, um. Uh, woo. That was a close one. Uh, um. Welcome, chat, to my Korea trip PowerPoint um, that I am three hours late for. I do apologize. Miyane yo. Sumimasen. I am so sorry. Lo siento. Um, I fucking fell asleep. I'm still fucking on Korea time, so use you the for the child no one remembers. She's just so quiet. She's just such a quiet little baby. It's true. Why are you running on Louisiana time? I don't what the fuck? Is 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 Louisiana not on like CST or some shit? Middle child moment. <laughs> That's so true. Middle child moment. Yuzu fade. Yuzu fade. There she goes. We'll miss her dearly. We're CST. Oh. Well, I don't fucking know. I don't know. It doesn't matter what time it is because mentally it is still 12 p.m. for me. I got content warning for bow stream. Yeah, because the fucking last time I didn't have my content warnings on, YouTube or fucking Twitch sent me a warning. They're like, you need to have these warnings on. And I'm like, you, you're the one who clicked on a bow stream. What were you, what did you expect? Okay? This is your own damn fault, all right? I'm not your fucking mom, okay? I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna fucking tell you every single piece of media's content for you figure that shit on your own what are you 12 i gotta fucking spoon feed you this shit now honestly skill issue of course bow the whales for certain audiences okay we gotta keep this shit contained okay the 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 next time i leak out into the masses it's not gonna end good all right this shit is acquired taste. <laughs> Spoon feeding is my fantasy. Don't threaten me with a good time. A. Now, if I go into your YouTube saved video downloads and I see a Nico Avocado video, I need to let you know that I will ban you from every piece of social media I have. I hope you know that. They can't know about the gooning topics. Guys. I'm proud to be a certified gooner, okay? I'm proud. I'm proud to let you all know that Okay, I I did goon on the the Korea trip, but it was like only 3 times, all right? Yeah, yeah, it was only like three times. Every day, I was so exhausted. I I could only like, I only did it out of like, I did it out of like, it was like a medical emergency. It was, it was literally a medical emergency, okay? Like, if if I don't, I don't know what it's like for guys, but if I don't, you know, if I don't take care of it, I can't be fucking normal. Like, I genuinely... I genuinely cannot be normal, alright? So this was like... I, I had the medical pass for it, you know? I had the nurse... the nurse's note for it, okay? So... You know... Even when I was so exhausted, my eyes were failing me, I had to do it. If I didn't get it out of my system... I hate to imagine what would happen. You don't have to tell us? Oh, right. That totally slipped my mind. Oh, damn. That's crazy. Oh, I... Really? I don't have 
to tell you guys? Oh, I got this all wrong. Damn. Why did anyone remind me? What the fuck? I got you. Thank you, Polly. Thank you. No, genuinely, thank you. Like, had you not said anything, I would have continued to do this like I have been for the past four years. Yeah, it's a good thing you guys always love to give me gentle reminders. I love how gentle everyone's reminders are. It's so like... It's so nice to have such a loving relationship between me and my chat the way we do. Uh, and there it is. And there's all the gentle reminders. Just like that, I feel like I've been covered in a warm, fuzzy blanket of love and uh, acceptance. <laughs> Loving is a strong word. Okay, what's a little less strong? Who the fuck? Who the fuck is playing the yapping sounds? This yapping sound alert. I didn't even... I'm not even yapping that hard, okay? This is like... This is like a normal conversation level of yapping. Man, fuck you guys. I'm turning off sound alerts. Fuck you. Anyways... Who's ready for this, this wonderful PowerPoint that will surely give you everything you need to know before you chat, you go to Korea. Wait, first, let me take a bite of my shepherd's pie. That's very freezer burnt. Well, it's not that freezer burnt. I think it's just burnt because I put it in the microwave for 12 minutes. Mmm. -hmm. <laughs> it said 10 to 11 minutes so naturally i gave it like a i gave it another minute because well it was really frozen for a long time i thought it needed a little bit of a little bit of a boost on max wattage for real i don't even know the wattage of my microwave <laughs> it could be anything honestly well anyways to the next one how do i do this um <clears throat> things i learned during my korea trip with numi yuzu lily show and Boska. Taxis will scam you. All right, chat. So the first thing that happened to me, the moment I stepped off of the plane was lose $40. <laughs> because um, I just have a very scammable aura and all the Korean taxis could smell that. And this is literally, this is all literally Numi's fault, okay? She told me to download this app called Kakao Taxi because everything in Korea is like run by this like conglomerate of like apps by Kakao. And I download this app, I get a taxi, I ask the, the airport, um, I don't know, the airport workers, like where is the taxi pickup area? So I go to the taxi pickup area and then I wait, and I wait, and I wait. This guy is clearly fucking lost, okay? This guy is like, I'm watching him on the little, like, the little map. Bro's like, he's on a side quest. Totally, like, not near where I'm supposed to be picked up. He cancels the ride. He like, okay, he did, he basically said that he was at the destination but he was not at the destination. My pick, I had the pickup area right in front of me. He just like clicked the button that tells the app that he is now like at the pickup destination. And I was like, where the fuck is that? And I tried like to communicate with him in Korean with my translator app. And I was like, where the fuck are you? This is not the, this is not where you go for pickup and I tried giving him directions and so he cancels my ride and then it charges me 
forty dollars. And I was like, bro, no shot. So yeah, and then I was like, okay, I've been here for like forty minutes more than I needed to be. I just want to fucking go to my. I just want to fucking go to my hotel. So I just went into. I just found a taxi. You're not supposed. You're supposed to book all your taxis through an app, because a lot of taxis will upcharge you, because they know you're not from here and you. They know that you don't know the, like, the base price for taxi rides. And I just didn't fucking care anymore. I just got in one, and it took me home. It should have only been 40 bucks, but it ended up being, like, somewhere close to, like, 80. I didn't care anymore. I just really want to go to my fucking... I, I, I just really wanted to go to my hotel. And it, the hotel is, like, an hour and a half away, okay? I just... Please, I just want to go home. I just want to leave. I was so tired. I was so done. But yeah. Anyways. Uber does work in Korea. However. Maps fucking suck. So fucking bad. Okay. All maps. Apple maps. Google maps. Don't use that shit. You're supposed to only use Cacao Map and Naver. And everyone keeps telling me, like, oh, I've never had any issues with Cacao Map, blah, 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 blah. But I don't fucking speak Korean, okay? I, when, I, when I type in a business name, I type it in English. And sometimes the English name does not exist. Only the Korean variation exists. And then I'll try to, like, look up the business name in Google and copy and paste the address over. But it doesn't copy well, okay? It, it copies, like... It, it copies the address out of order, basically. It, it the, the, the the numbers are supposed the numbers that are supposed to go in front go in the back. Like, you know what I mean? It's like Asia. Everything's backwards. Water water runs up. Uh, gravity is wrong. Doors are push not pull. It's all backwards. Okay. And so every time I copy and paste an address from Google or Apple Maps into Cacao Map or Neighbor, that shit just didn't exist. Okay. It was so hard to find where I wanted to go. Okay. I didn't have a problem at, with this at all in Japan. Like I felt like I could navigate pretty well in Japan, but it felt so impossible in Korea because like, I'm just not used to any of these apps. And so I was like, um, I, I'm just gonna flag down like I don't even care if the taxi cab like scams me I'm just gonna flag down a random taxi I'm gonna show them this address in Korean and he's just gonna take me there Okay, because he can look at this address and he can decipher where all the funny numbers go and where all the hangul is supposed to go And he'll just take me there. So like did, uh, did I get mo scammed multiple times by taxis? I don't fucking know. I, I just generally don't fucking know and it was so hard to figure out where to go and like there were there were so many like places on maps that were not marked on maps like businesses exist but not in the map it was so hard to navigate i kept getting fucking lost bro and i guess there, so i made this i made a tweet about how fucking bad maps are in korea and ba basically korea doesn't like Google, Korea doesn't like Korea doesn't like apps that require accurate map data. They're like, they just don't fucking like that. And then Google's like, oh, well, I mean, if I, if we can't get any map data, then I guess we'll just move our business elsewhere. And then Korea's like, wait, we don't like that either. Come back. And Google's like, yeah, sure, but like, um, are you gonna give us any more data? Like. Are we gonna have accurate map data? And then Korea's like... <laughs> anyway, so that's... That's that, okay? I fucking hate maps in Korea, okay? Please, someone fucking fix this! 
place, okay? I keep getting navigated to the wrong places. Also, the same business establishments will have multiple chains in the same area. And so even after I show them, the show a taxi cab driver the correct address, they'll take me to the same the same chain, but in a different area. Because they'll, they'll, it'll, it'll just, they'll type it into their Google, their neighbor or cacao or taxi driver app, whatever, and it'll auto route them to the closest one. And so we are both lost. It happened so many times. It was so annoying. Please, okay? Can y'all please fix your maps, okay? I am just a stupid guy, Gene. I don't know anything, all right? Please, okay? I cannot keep going to the wrong sandwich shop three days in a row. It happened to me over and over in Thailand. There was a moment in time chat where I got so lost, I had a complete mental breakdown. Like, I... Okay, so this is what happened. I finished my hair appointment, and I, it was, like, so much more earlier than I expected. And I was like, oh, I still have time to catch up with my friends and, and see what they're up to. And so I was trying to figure out where they were. And so my friend gives me the... The, um the name of like whatever business is nearby and i put it into the to the um i don't know the the cacao taxi app whatever and i got dropped off at a random construction site like 20 minutes from where they were i don't know how this happened okay but i, I even screenshotted it and i was like is this the correct name and they're like yeah this is it and so i get there i'm at the bottom of a hill at a construction site and i had to I had to Climb up the hill, okay? So I could get to, basically, if you use any, like, apps, it'll be like, this is a more, this is a better pickup spot for taxis. Go to this area if you want to be picked up easier. And so I, I had to climb up the hill to get to the better pickup area. And then I finally was like, okay, I'm, I'm so tired. All right, just, uh, I'm just, I'm just gonna find, like, a, a cafe nearby and just and like mentally calm down okay because i'm like reaching dangerous levels of anxiety and i sit there and I'm, i get a drink and my friend rainy you guys know foxy rainy she did the art for my gamer subs cup and like a bunch of other stuff yeah so she gave me this coupon for this store called uh, it's like a it's like a dessert chain called twosome i know it's a very unfortunate name it's literally called twosome <laughs> So I go to Tusum for cake, by the way, not for anything else. And I show them the coupon. I was like, hi, I have a coupon. And it's supposed to give me a free cake. And they said, no coupon. And I was like, oh, but it says right here, I, I get a free cake if I buy something. They're like, no coupon. I was like, oh, okay okay <laughs> well, that's fine and then i messaged rainy i was like hi rainy um i tried using your coupon but they they wouldn't let me and they're like what i've never had this issue before like are you sure like you showed it to them you told you you like showed them the qr code and everything i was like yeah i did and they're like what she was like give me the address of this place i'm gonna report them i was like no it's okay like it, it probably they probably just said they didn't want to they said no because they didn't want to deal with my non-korean ass <laughs> and i was like oh okay it's, I'll, I'll still order a drink and like i was just so flustered from the exchange i just like i just pointed at whatever and i got like a really shitty drink and i was like <laughs> and just holding back tears and then finally like i was like i don't want to go shopping anymore i'm just gonna go back to my hotel and then <laughs> i tried going back to my hotel and i showed them i just flagged down a taxi and i showed them the address and they took me to the wrong one <laughs> they it, it's like the same name in the same area but it's not the right hotel it's a different hotel and so i got out I was I saw the correct like name of the hotel, but it wasn't the right location. It was like 20 minutes from the other location. And so I sat down. I just found a random bench. I sat down and I just cried. <laughs> it was so sad. I was like, I don't wanna I don't wanna go shopping anymore. I'm just gonna go home. Like <laughs> my my fucking grown ass just sitting on the curb crying. All these Korean people passing me by. I was like <laughs> I couldn't have cake and my friends are shopping without me. I had to climb up a hill and I went to the wrong place three times. <laughs> Anyways, I was I was like
That was not a good day. <laughs> and I finally got home. And, so, and then I, after I got home, I just laid there. <laughs> I went completely catatonic. I was like, well, I'll just try again tomorrow. Tomorrow will be a better day. The first thing that happens, chat, the first thing that happens, let me show you guys. Let me show you guys. Ah, this is the first thing that happened. <laughs> we all went to the wrong egg sandwich shop. All three of us went to three different ones. Show didn't even make it to a sandwich shop. He just, he was just somewhere random. He just went somewhere completely random. And when he tried to flag down two like taxi cab drivers, both of them yelled at him. Like both of them were just like, yelling at him in korean and then he was like oh you, can you take me there and they just yelled at him and he was like okay <laughs> and then he just left anyways um maybe maybe we were just unlucky okay like maybe you know it's not always like this for people visiting korea maybe we we're just really unlucky but um yeah uh maybe because i didn't know that i don't know korean as well as i do know japanese <laughs> and so like my my range of grammar is very very uh limited yeah i i don't know chat I don't know what happened. Anyways, we just got so fucking lost constantly. And it was really, really annoying. And I think only after the first, like, couple days did we sort of, like, tr get accustomed to, like, what we should do. Aw, thank you. Uh, yeah. So basically, the strat is, if you visit Korea, just don't split up, okay? Don't split up. Just meet at one central space, one central place. So that place would be our hotel, and you couldn't, you cannot get the address wrong. Well, you can. Okay, so basically, we couldn't use my hotel anymore because there, we realized there were so many different chains and, like, stores with the same one. So we used, uh, Numi's hotel, and we all just met up there and then decided where to eat together and would travel there together like we couldn't just pick a spot and meet up there because so many times we would just not be there why not share location from maps wow why didn't i fucking think of that oh yeah maybe because google maps doesn't work in korea neither does apple maps okay the first time i tried to meet up with my friends to go shopping with them they shared me their location on maps and i couldn't and when i tried to put in that address into cacao it it took me to somewhere completely wrong <laughs> okay wow why didn't we think of that because we did! <laughs> Anyways. <sighs> so. How can you lose so much? I'll just learn Korean. Um. I guess. Uh, oh, wow. What? <laughs> Why didn't I think of that? No way. That was so sad, chat. That was so fucking sad. Anyways. I'm tired of getting lost in Korea. <sighs> very, very frustrating, but eventually we did get the hang of, like, using maps. Basically, we... Okay, this is so fucked up. This is so, like, scuffed, but we took a screenshot of approximately where we were on Google Maps, and then they would send that screenshot to me, and we would just decipher the screenshot and, like, where we were with the little blue dot it, relative to the screenshot. So we would just, like, use it as, like, a physical map. But anyways, yeah, if you have travel anxiety, um... Maybe you should find someone that knows Korean or like lives in Korea and also like you should get accustomed to these apps and just like fiddle around with it and yeah and if you have des like if you have destinations that you really want to go you just got to like find the Korean equivalent of the format of the address the address format Anyways, these motherfuckers doing cartography to find each other. That legit was what we were doing, chat. That was legit what we were doing. It was so fucked up. Anyways. <sighs> Very 
very interesting. Well, Numi knows Korean a lot better than us, so she's probably going to say, Oh, yeah, I didn't have a problem getting lost. Just use this. I hate you, bitch. Just shut the fuck up. Anyways, uh, I can still read Hangul. Things I learned in Korea. I can still read pretty decent Hangul. I can't, like, I'm really bad at talking in Korean, but I can read the Hangul. So every time I got, like, kind of lost, I could, I could still, like, figure out how to navigate train stations pretty well. I'm, like, surprisingly great at navigating in train stations. I just couldn't navigate, like, based off of addresses. That shit was just simply impossible. Um... You walk on the right side to let people in a rush use the left side. So it's like opposite in Japan. In Japan, you walk on the left side and let people rush up to the right. And then, I don't know, I think depending on which prefecture you're in, it's the opposite. It's very strange, but in Korea, walk on the right. In Japan, walk on the left. Yeah. And then it's very safe unless you're new me and Yuzu. So I've learned that anytime... Anytime show was not with us or like we were not all together, like Lily, Boska, they were, they were, we were not in a group. Some weird shit would happen to them, okay? Like immediately, okay? Yuzu went to get makeup from the train station and some guy like physically grabbed her arm and was like and just shoved his phone in her face and like pointed at it pointed at his phone so that she would put her contact information in it bro what in what world what world do you have such negative riz that you have to like resort to like caveman uh, like caveman uh movements to to riz up a woman that is that was insane to me and then when we went to Itaewon we went clubbing this one day we didn't like get into any clubs we were just sort of like people watching and like also we got into like we sat at bars and had like yummy food together and then we had a drink at another place we didn't really get to go clubbing that day I yeah and then uh Numi immediately like I, I guess like if you are attractive and you bring like a good like if you look like you are physically attractive and you would your presence in a bar would bring more patrons they want you bars want you and so so some random some random bouncer in the bar or like a bartender just started dragging her into the bar and i was like what the fuck what the fuck is happening and then he started dragging her i was like i was like no i started dragging her back i was like let go of my pookie and then we were just like grabbing each other back and then finally bosco was like hey, hey, hey yo yo break it up break it up and then i like dra i like dragged her back into the road i was like oh, 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 oh. she's mine let's go of her unhand her anyways <laughs> we can't let Nubi and yuzu out in public by themselves so weird shit always gotta happen man i don't think anything happens to me because every time someone tried to sp I, I, I like went up to a counter people spoke to me in korean and i think people just thought i was korean or something so nothing weird happened to me also i don't have a face card like yuzu and numi they look obviously very foreign and very pretty and so so it's always them two it's always them two anytime show and boast goes out of sight some weird shit always gotta happen <laughs> unhand my pookie anyways so yes they are not allowed to be out of our sights. Anyways, uh, next, just reply ne or yes in Korean and you will go so far. So many times I got into a taxi and like these old people would just have full on conversations with me. And the only thing I'd say throughout the entire ride was ne, ne. And I would laugh like, ha ha ha, ne. <laughs> And, uh, and that was the ride and then they would be they would like wow what what a great conversation okay have a nice day and i'd be like nah, come on me and then i would just leave <laughs> <sighs> i couldn't believe it the power of this single word will take you so far in korea 
that's all you have to say. It truly is the magic word. You 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 can't you can't even mispronounce it either. It's just net with a little nod. That's it. And you will go so far. Anyways, wear comfy shoes. You will walk a lot. Chad, you will walk so so much in Korea. Let me show you. So here are my average steps in Korea. That week, my average was four miles, um, and I averaged 16,000 steps. Um, yes. So, if you guys love cardio, this is the place for you. Same with like anywhere in Asia. If you love cardio, this is the place for you. If you don't, then Godspeed. Get compression socks, get really comfy ergonomic shoes. Uh, be sure to bring uh, bath salts so that you can soak your feet in your tub every day because it will be swollen. Um, you will definitely need painkillers. Also, like apparently the painkillers in Asia are very weak compared to the painkillers in America. I can't imagine why, huh? How strange, but yeah, I guess if you like bring your, you should bring your own Advil basically. Uh, what else? Yeah, lots of aching creams, like muscle ache creams. You should bring that too. You know, like I, hot and icy, icy and hot. You should bring that. I'm sorry, as a Korean, if there were any shortcomings in Korea. The only thing was maps and then like certain places not knowing enough English to like say yes to things they would probably say yes to a korean person it's just how it is you know i will say like well i guess i'll get there i'll, I'll get to there what else if a cute old lady comes up to you and tries to talk to you and hand you tissues just say sorry i don't know korean because she's trying to recruit you to a cult i had no idea this was the thing until i was in korea apparently they do this in japan too but like i, I didn't know this was so this was just like a wide scale like asian issue i thought it was just like oh I don't know. They're trying to make me join their church group or something. No, it's a cult. Apparently, this is just a thing. Like, they're always... So it's, it's always a cult. It's always a cult. Yeah. They're so nice, too. They're so sweet. And it makes me so sad to have to, like, you know, wave them off. But basically, yeah. That's just, uh... That... That's a thing. Um, and they're very aggressive, too. They If you make eye contact with them, it's over. It's, it's kind of over. <laughs> some of them are church, some others are cult. It's a 50-50 TBH. Oh, yeah, it's a 50-50, I guess. Uh, well, that happened to Girl DM in Japan, too. She, like, uh, she met some, she made some J Japanese friends and, or, or was it in Japan or was it in Korea? I can't remember, but she accidentally went to a cult meeting and she had to change it to, like, a weird, like, cult robe thing. And she was like, oh, this is a cult. Okay, I'm gonna go now. And that was it. <laughs> I remember. You guys will have to you guys have to ask her about that. I remember this happened to her. Where was this? Was it Korea or was it Japan? I can't remember. It was one of the two. Yeah, she kinda went undercover. She had a fun time, apparently. Up until she realized it was a cult. Yeah, that was interesting. Um, so yeah. Just uh just just smile and wave, boys. Smile and wave. Okay, next slide. You will smell like K-Barbecue every day. Numi loves K-Barbecue. Numi loves fried chicken. All the establishments we went to, we came out smelling like smoke and meat. And because we only ate meat, we'd also sweat the smell of meat. Not my favorite thing ever. Um, but it's so good. <laughs> The meat quality is so yummy. They marinate it and like I, I tried so many different marinades in Korea. Like the, I feel like there's like a I don't know. There's like a basic Korean barbecue marinade here in America. There's like spicy soy garlic, but there's there's so much more in Korea. It was really yummy. And you get like 
Twenty thousand sides, chat. Okay, like here in America, I thought like the Korean sides here were are already a lot. No, man, you could probably eat like your own meal just off of the sides that they give you. It's so so generous. Um, like pick lots of different pickled vegetables, lots of um, potato salads. Um and octopus it's it's very generous um also you should definitely ask for a bib or gloves to spare your clothes from stains um i didn't know that but if you go into like random food places they'll give you like protection to put over your clothes so you don't get splashed because oh my god they went me yuzu and sho were fighting for our lives at this 1k barbecue place because they put a ton of kimchi on the uh on the charcoal grill or was it a char I, I, it was just like a metal grill and every now and then it would splatter it would just you would hear like a pop and then the juices would explode and literally send like third degree burns all over us and that shit hurt we were constantly just like screaming every time it happened because we were we were so scared the first time it hurt so bad it got on my lip and burned me and i was like ah we were just like dodging it in our seats and it hurts so fucking bad dude that shit is dangerous okay i want to wear full body armor the next time i go to a korean barbecue okay some places i don't know what it is if with like the grills or maybe maybe the fact that it was kimchi and it had high water content but that shit actually tried to kill us okay but uh a really nice thing is so here in america i feel like most places you cook the meat by yourself. You flip the meat, you cut the meat, you do all that by yourself. Like, they'll give you a tutorial in the beginning, but, like, you just, you do it yourself. But in Korea, the Korean ajumas, they just, they do it for you. And maybe it's, maybe, like, it's just me or something. Like, maybe it's because we look, we just naturally look fucking stupid. I think all of us, together in a group... One Korean person will take one look at us and be like, yeah, these motherfuckers don't know anything. I'll, I'll just fucking do it ourselves. Like, maybe it's just weaponized incompetence or something. But <laughs> we didn't fucking know what we were doing. These Korean ones were like, god damn it. I'll, I'll just fucking do it myself. And they so they cooked everything for us. But <laughs> I went to this one place and Yuzu really likes her pork, like, crispy. So, like, very well cooked. But... The Korean ajumas, they, they, they cook it perfectly for you. And if you try to cook it any other way, they yell at you. I didn't know that. They were, <laughs> it was so funny. The Korean ajuma, like, so I used the, the, like, the remnants of the kimchi, like the burnt kimchi. And I, like, I just, like, rubbed the meat all around it. It was just, like, one slab of, like, really thick uh pork belly and i was like slathering it around and trying to get all the like crispy bits and so <laughs> i was cooking it for Yuzu because she said she liked it crispy and so when i flipped it over it was like it was like black speckles everywhere and then the korean ajima she <laughs> she came over and she's like i go chongma chongma i go chongma like oh really now really now oh my god really now and then she was like yelling at us like i go chongma and I, like we flipped it over a bunch of times to like fix it and i was like oh oh <laughs> she was so mad chad i was just trying to cook it for you too. she likes it crispy <laughs> i go chong man i go like she was just yelling at us and i was like um <laughs> Awkward. I was actually like fighting tears. It was so funny. <laughs> and then Yuzu was just like, oh. And then Numi's like, oh. <laughs> I go chong rush and flipping that shit, trying to fix it with her hands and like flipping it over and cutting it up right away. I was like, did you know what she was yelling? She was just like saying, oh my god, really now? Like, <laughs> really now? I got, yeah, we got backseat in a Korean barbecue. It was very funny. I think that was the same establishment that we were, yeah, it was, that we were, like, dodging <laughs> all the grease flying around, trying to burn us. That shit was scary. I go, it's basically Korean, I, yeah. Yeah. 
when I was there, they just cut our meat for us. They left us to cook it for ourselves. And I can guarantee we looked like dumb tourists as well. It's okay. Chat, the thing about traveling is you will look like dumb tourists and that is okay. All right. We all start somewhere. And then the next time you come back, you won't be a dumb tourist anymore. You will simply just be a tourist. It's not that bad, chat. It's going to be okay. All right. Everyone starts somewhere. <laughs> Anyways. <clears throat> uh what else oh um i am still short in korea <laughs> what the fuck what the fuck what the fuck everyone is so tall in korea what the fuck dude i met someone that was like just as tall as boska oh snack attack oh my goodness it's Fillion! oh my goodness gracious hello Fillion! hello snackers what's up y'all i'm talking about uh all the stuff i did in korea and i've got this fun little powerpoint prepared for all of you i hope you guys had a great stream i'll see you guys on monday for Fillion super fun awesome collab be sure not to miss it it's this monday yippee Excuse me. Snacker Frey Ren cosplay raid. Wait, is this, um, was this the day that Fillion collabed with, uh, Skew? Skew? Skibbity? Skibbity Chan? Oh, collab with Neuro. Oh, that was yesterday. Oh, cute. Uh, I hope you guys had a fun time. Yippee. Anyways, uh, as I was saying, chat. Why the fuck am I still short as hell in Korea? Okay? Uh, uh, damn! The, I feel like Korea has like a higher con concentration of tall people here. And it completely threw me off guard. I was like, damn! Ain't people supposed to be my height? Why is everyone tall as fuck? So that was really uh, a rude awakening. Um, did not... Did not anticipate this. Thought that, uh, you know, I still had a fighting chance to be perceived as normal height in Korea. No, I'm still fucking short. This is really fucked up. Um, and, uh, yeah, uh, many times I would f see, like, a random Korean guy and bro's definitely, like, nearly seven foot. And I'm like, wow. Thanks. Thanks for fucking reminding me. How tall are you? I'm five foot. I'm five foot exactly. <laughs> so stupid, man. Anyways. Did not appreciate that. I had a completely different idea of what tall and short was. And uh, I was completely wrong. So, uh, yeah. Everyone's still tall and I still have to look up. <sighs> Very cool. My neck is in a constant state of pain. <clears throat> also, um, well, maybe it's because I didn't really buy clothes in Japan, so I, I don't know what it's like. I don't know what it's like elsewhere, but you cannot try on white colored shirts or sometimes shirts at all at clothing stores. Um, yeah, I think it's because uh, foreigners stink and sometimes they like get makeup on shirts. It could just be like, nor I feel like. This is like a normal thing. If you try on shit and sometimes you get makeup on it. Um, and also, yeah, foreigners. It's a genetic thing, right? Like, like Asians, some Asians just don't fucking sweat, okay? I was not born with such blessed traits. I still sweat, but I don't get musty. I, I just sweat. I like very rarely get musty. But there are people, there are Asian people that just straight up don't fucking sweat. And and that was like crazy to me because it was so, it was still pretty humid in Korea. There were nights where it was pretty cold and the days were like quite temperate. But then people, even on the hot days, people would layer up. One, because like people don't want to get tan in Korea. That's like another conversation. But also because they just don't sweat. And I'm like fanning myself. I'm like wearing like acceptably light clothing without being too revealing and i'm still sweating my ass off i don't know how they do it okay this makes no fucking sense anyways yeah 
Basically, if I wanted to try on shirts, what I do is I just have Numi or Yuzu stand in front of my changing room and just have them hand me all the clothes. And I still try them on anyways because I don't give a fuck. And I'm a very... I'm... I'm that bitch, okay? I'm gonna if I want to buy if I want to buy clothes, I need to make sure that it looks good on me, okay? I can't I can't just eyeball it and make sure it looks good on me. I need to try it on, okay? So I I just simply did not did not care. Um, but yeah, uh, keep your receipts and pay in cash. You will get a discount or tax free report. That's very cool. It's like this in Japan too. Yeah, if you pay in cash, uh, cash, it's like. Korea, like, has a lot of, like, credit card areas where you can, like, pay everything in credit card. But there's areas that only take cash, too. And then Japan is just straight up, like, still very cash-based. So, um, yeah. You can go to, like, stores and they'll give you, like, this tax-free QR code. And you go to the airport and then you go to, like, this... They go to, like, the tax-free kiosk and then they give you your money back. You get your, like... Because uh, I think I think it's that in America we don't have VAT. In Asia, there is VAT, and so now you get the money back. Anyways, yeah. Something like that. Korean dress code. Uh, I didn't know this, but if you wear colorful clothing, um, you will stick out like a sore thumb. Uh, basically, you don't really like to show cleavage. Uh, there was this one time I remember Yuri told me that Numi was wearing like a... Very fitting clothes. Not even that she was showing cleavage. It was just like very form fitting. Even that is like not normal. Okay. You're a whore. If you like show like really like wear things that hug your body. <laughs> I, I, I don't make the rules, man. Okay. I'm just saying. And then legs. You can show as much leg as you want. You just don't want to show your like your breasticles, you know, uh, I don't see a ton of people wear sweatpants, which is crazy because I love sweatpants. Not that I gave a fuck, but no one ever wore sweatpants. You can wear baggy clothes like cargo pants, jeans, dress pants. That's okay. I just never saw any sweatpants, which was weird because I feel like it falls into that same category. Yeah. But if you go to like the clubbing areas like Itaewon, like all the play, like, or. It's Itaewon and it's uh, Hongdae where all the young people go like drinking and stuff. You can wear whatever the fuck you want. No one cares. But if, it, if you're like out in public, like, yeah. I guess people don't like seeing nipples for some reason. Fucking weird. Uh, every shoe for girls has insane <laughs> platforms. Um, yeah. I went to Nike's. I went to an Adidas and I went to... Um, a Converse store and every store had like insane insoles. So you know like the insoles that are inside of the foot? Well like they have it on the they have insoles built into the shoe and they also have like you know the rubber bottom of the shoe? It is like it's like four to five inches thick depending on what you want because girls are trying to compensate for their height too. <laughs> and I was like damn I personally don't care about being short, but like, I guess this is like a very sore topic for girls too in Korea and Japan too. Cause like, it's very, all of them have like insane platforms, even Crocs chat, like even Crocs had like six inches of styrofoam at the bottom. I was like, who the fuck is wearing high heel Crocs up in here? Apparently a lot of people. It's crazy. I wish I took pictures. But they're really funny here. I'm gonna let me just look up a picture. Let me just look up like a quick one right now. <laughs> Platform Crocs. Oh my god, I found okay. It literally looks like this. Like, and I saw some crazy ones too. Hold on. They look like um clogs. I want a side view though. want a side view though no there were some crazy ones too they had they were like you know how it's angled you know like heels kind of make you stand on your tippy toes they had shit like that and i was like what okay here's like this is kind of similar but it was 
I saw angled ones to mimic the angle of which you wear high heels. And I was like, damn. That's crazy. <laughs> People out here wearing high heel Crocs. I can't. Uh, personally, this is quite a look. <laughs> I don't know what kind of look you would... I don't know what kind of clothes you would pair this with. It's just like whatever, I guess, but... I guess, like, if you like the chunky shoe look, that is that is what you would probably go for with these shoes. They're kind of cute. It's just... Even sneakers had them. I thought those... I thought that was, like, a died-out fashion trend. Sneakers with heels? Yeah, I thought this was a died-out fashion trend. Nah, it's still... It's still a thing. I don't like... Like this. You can wear sneaker heels. I, they always sold them in like train stations. So like if you go to train stations, you'll like see little shops and flower shops. There'll like be food stalls and like accessory shops. And they have like these shoe stalls like where it's all mostly fast fashion. And I saw shit like this and I was like, damn, that is a statement. <laughs> that is quite a statement. Interesting. Very cool, man. Um, what else? Lots of clothing stores for girls only come in one size. Okay, so, well, basically, you know, like, when you go on, uh, Sheen or Yes Style or, like, you know, like, it's very obviously fast fashion and you can tell your clothes, uh, were made by, uh, indentured servants and they probably have written the word help in the, uh, in the in the tags inside your shirt and they probably have written letters inside like your checkout bag like please help me my family is missing uh yeah so stores like that like you can tell like the the clothes came from stores like that and all of them all the really nice like cute boutique ones they only have clothes that come in one size like I'll, sometimes like the, the the shirts will never come in any other size, but the pants might sometimes have a medium and might have a large, and that's it. But, like, I would try on the large, and I'd be like, the way this is a medium in America, and I was like, damn. Chat, I might be fucking fat. <laughs> Chat, I'm thinking... I'm the Bowberry here. <laughs> think the bowberry's a joke anymore yeah i felt so bad about myself when i went shopping uh, but you know it's it's whatever right like this is to be expected right everyone's very small in asia i went in there and like everyone's trying on clothes like oh my god this looks so cute on me and i was like wow so happy for you it looks really good on you mm-hmm <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, I mean, eventually I did go to some, like, vintage... All the vintage stores have, like, really, like, bigger, baggier clothes. And I did eventually find, like, a boutique that sh sold clothes in, like, uh, like, bigger sizes and, like, stretchier fabric so that I could, like, still fit it. Which made me feel a lot better, but, you know, damn! And if I walk in... If I go to Myeongdong again, I am not going shopping, okay? That shit made me depressed as fuck. Um, but yeah, good to know. Oh, I did not finish this, but. Oh, yeah, oh, wait, I did finish this. I just, okay. Anyways, things I learned. There are foreigner friendly and English okay stores you can book appointments at. I didn't know this, but like, okay. So, uh, when you want to book an appointment, say you want to go to like a local hair salon or like get your nails done or like get a massage. Uh, most places have you use Naver. It's a website. You know, like how you sign in through Google accounts in in America to like book appointments and stuff, or like it'll have you sign in like a Facebook or like an Instagram. You know, just like connect to your account to sign in faster, so you don't have to make like a brand new account. So in Korea, people use Naver for that. But the thing about Naver. So this is very interesting. I, I actually got an eSIM 
uh, because I knew that most places would need a Korean phone number to book appointments at. What I didn't know is that you have to confirm uh, an ID through Naver. So not only do you have to have an ID, an ID on file, like an approved ID that you have to wait for a few days to have someone like, you know, like notarize and look at it and make sure it's real. You also have to connect a Korean bank to your neighbor account in order to put down deposits. And it can't be like any credit card. It can't be a foreign credit card. It has to be a Korean bank. Maybe I could be wrong, but, um, so, uh, when Numi was telling me about, like, looking specifically for foreign or friendly places, I was like, I was like, oh, okay, like, can I just, like, call and book an appointment? She's like, um, no, you, we should probably just look for foreign or friendly places. I was like, and then after I tried booking, I spent, like, half an hour trying to book this appointment at this hair salon I wanted to go to, just to realize that, like, oh... They just don't want, like, people outside of Korea going to this particular establishment. Anytime it says book through Naver, you're shit out of luck, bro. They don't want you there. They don't want you to book an appointment there because you got to have this, 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 and this. Basically to prove that you're Korean and you live there. And I was like, you're booking a disappointment? Yeah, pretty much. And I was like, oh. Damn. <laughs> they fucking hate my ass. So, uh, yeah, I was like... Um, interesting. Good to know. Uh, yeah. But there are, like, a lot of foreigner-friendly places. People speak, well, like, if you find the foreigner-friendly places, like, people will speak English. They'll take great care of you. There's other, like, English-speaking people there or other people visiting the area, um, to, like, you know, try it all out. And, like, people, people who, like, actually like meeting new people from different places and hearing their stories and stuff, like, you will find places like that. But if you just look up, like, local places and also it, it probably didn't help that i was in gangnam and gangnam's like a very upscale place and you know how you know how it is and even upscale places here they're very um, it could be a little little picky about their patrons um about <laughs> refund fun thank you uh so yeah um did not know that Good to know. If, if it, if basically, if you go to a place and it says book through Naver and the only place you can book an appointment is through Naver, all right, just just keep looking for a new place. Um, also, we went to Latte World, which is like a big amusement park. Everyone takes their kids there. Um, it's like... It's like an amusement park, but also a mall, but also... Latte World's like a huge conglomerate in, in Korea, and it's like... There's like restaurants, there's a mall, there's like a bit, there's a tower that you can have like, like fancy restaurants in and yeah, you will go to war for magic passes. I did not know that. You will have to wake up at right when the fucking clock hits nine. You have to be there and you have to stand in line and you have to fight everybody for a magic pass. And each person gets seven magic passes, which is basically you skip the line. It's like a, a fast pass for people in america like go to amusement parks and stuff it's the it's a uh, magic pass is that equivalent and it will help you skip the line and you can each person get seven of them and so you will go to war and every single one of us had to stand in line and get our own magic passes and they have limited amounts throughout the day and everyone's trying to fight for them because everyone is like trying to go and spend their holiday at latte world with their kids and all the foreigners are doing it too and yeah it's crazy and oh uh, yeah hello hi cinder thank you so much for the read uh, thank you so much for the read i hope you had a lovely stream uh i saw that you guys were making cute little pixel arts yippee i love cinder crafts i hope everyone had a great time and go check out cinder's new flavor pyro power it's uh there on gamer subs i love her very much and i'm very proud of her for finally getting that flavor she deserves it she's worked so hard um yes i love her Mwah. Anyways, welcome. I'm Bobo, and uh, we're talking about things I learned in Korea. Uh, some bad, some good, some very funny, some silly. But yes, uh, right now we're talking about Latte World, which is like an amusement park that everyone wants to go to in Korea. And it's very difficult to get 
of magic passes because everyone else is trying to do the same thing. So, yeah. <laughs> But it was very fun. There were like roller coasters and like fun, like fun little like uh, gift shops and uh, lots of yummy food. Uh, what else? And uh, lots of photo booth opportunities. And everyone like even in Japan, like when you go to amusement parks, people will dress up in coordination with their friends. So like all the girls will like be in like cute matching schoolgirl uniforms, and they'll have like matching accessories and matching backpacks. And they'll have like cute little headbands that you buy at Latte World so they can all match. It's so cute! Uh, I love matching clothing culture in Asia. I feel I wish we did more of that here where you just like coordinate your outfits with your girls and you go out and have a cute time and take a, a ton of pictures. It's so cute! I want to do that more. Um, but yeah, also there are very fun public festivities everywhere if you look. So I've like, um, we went to Myeongdong and at the time there was like a really fun like uh, festival going on and there was like street food stalls and yeah, basically there's always like fun stuff happening in like public spaces, lots of community events if you just kind of look for them. Um, and I got to eat like lots of yum yummy food. Uh, what the fuck are you talking about, bud? Fucking what? Um, maybe in a maybe wrong stream, bro? Yo, chat, are we still on Twitch, bro? What's going on? Bonk his ass? Yeah. Um, uh, seek help <laughs> to the goon latine you go uh yeah take your ass to kick bucko <laughs> mods get his ass mods take him to therapy um what the sigma anyways bro actually gooned himself to death Basically, there are fun public festivities everywhere if you look. Um, there's lots of, like, cute little park areas, too, that has, like, um, like, stalls and, like, cute little mascots everywhere. Everything has a mascot in Korea, and so we got to take lots of cute pictures with people, like, do you know, like, all the fun, cute little, like, Pokemon mascots, like, the life-size ones? There's those... There's a ton of things like that in Korea, and there's just always people like in mascots. And they're so cute! I can't help it. Every time I see like a, a little mascot, I have to take a run up and take a picture with them. It's so cute! Um, also, please do not eat convenience store tuna kimchi onigiri. You will shit your brains out. And, uh... Yeah. And that was not very fun. The day that I did that chat, we had to... Oh my, f I fucking hate Numi. I fucking hate Numi for this. Bitch, I will never forgive you for this. She made us walk all the way up to Namsan Tower, okay? And it's this like, you have to go, basically there, there's supposed to be a bus that takes you from the bottom all the way to the top where you can buy your tickets, okay? This bitch got, went out the wrong station exit couldn't find the bus and didn't say anything. And so we just walked up the hill and I was like, dude, is there, are we supposed to run into the bus like by now? Like we've been walking for quite a while. She's like, oh yeah, I couldn't find the bus. And I was like, bitch, well, are, were you gonna tell us that? And she's like, well, I, it's just a short walk. No, it fucking wasn't, okay? I was sweating my ass off. I was wearing really cute clothes that day too. I was dying, okay? I, I was, my feet fucking hurt climbing up these nearly 90 degree vertical like winding roads up the hill and we finally get there and we're like oh finally we're here we can just like go up into the tower and just and and see the sights and you know there's supposed to be like really cute restaurants and cafes up there too no dude there were even more stairs okay you get to the entrance you have to climb up the stairs then you can go into the the what is it the carriage the the like what what the fuck is it the um what is it the sh what is it what are the, the 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 gondolas gondolas yes there's these gondolas that take you up to like the actual base of the tower there's like the entrance and then there's the 
the gondola that takes you to the tower that is actually the base of the tower and then we finally get there and we're like oh my god finally all these stairs and all these winding roads we're finally here and we have these beautiful sights and then we go up the tower anyways i literally i literally chat had the worst toilet episode of my life during korea at this very time it could have been any other time but it had to be the day that we were climbing up and down these like six thousand feet towers okay and so and we were running out of time and it was so stressful and they're like bow where are you we have to go up the tower it's uh, like the top of the tower closes at nine blah 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 blah. we only have like 30 minutes and i was like hold on guys <laughs> That onigiri's coming back with a vengeance. And so I'm limping. I'm limping from my sore feet climbing up to the fucking base of the tower and my stomach that is absolutely just kicking my ass. And I finally get into the elevator and we go up the tower. And it was so beautiful. We took so many pictures and it, there was like these cute cafes and it showed you like the distance between that point, the, the your current location to like a random city in America. It was like, you are currently like 14,000 kilometers from Seattle or like 60,000 kilometers from San Francisco. It's so cute. We took pictures and then Episode two happened. That's right, Chad. At the very top of the highest point, highest building in all of Korea, I had to shit myself. And so um, I'm I'm also being uh, slowed down by my broken ass fucking feet and the stomach pain. And so I'm just like, Hwajangshu. That's the only word in Korea I can manifest. Do you, where is Hwajangshu? I need to go to Hwajangshu now. And I, fi I find it. It's at the bottom of these stairs. I'm like, oh, I love stairs. I love stairs so much. Thank you. Thank you for even more stairs. Come, Samnida. And I go down the stairs and I walk into the bathroom and chat. I didn't even need to like look at which stalls were open. I just I just simply walked all the way to the back. I was like, I'm gonna spare everybody in this small like this. It's you know everything's like two floors. The top of the top of the tower is just two floors, and I was like, I'm gonna try and contain this shit. Quite literally. <laughs> I literally I walk in chat hold on I I need to get the picture I need to get the picture it is so fucking funny this this was insane hold on I'm gonna find it I gotta scroll I didn't put it in the powerpoint because I'm stupid almost there just gonna keep going keep going gotta keep going now, where the hell are those pictures? Oh, I wonder if I took it. Oh man, you know what? It's on my digi cam. Fuck! It's on my other. It's on my other camera. Fuck! You know what? I'm just. I'll just look. I'll just look it up. Oh, yes! Yes! There's pictures! Yes! I found it, chat. I found it. It's real. This is the bathroom I was in. This isn't my picture, but this was, this was it. This was my bathroom. Each bathroom had a view. So while I, I this was the this was the type of shit that I had to take all my clothes off for. I'm just staring out at the beautiful Seoul skyline, contemplating my life, the choices that brought me to this very moment. All while I'm hunched over, holding my stomach for dear life. My hands are slumped into my thighs, and I'm fighting for my life. But every now and then, there would be a lull, like a peaceful lull in between where I could look up and just see the beautiful view. And it was honestly the most majestic ex experience I had ever had in my entire life. All my years of being alive brought me to this moment. Taking a giant fucking shit 
at the top of this tower with a huge ass window just looking out into the skyline. This, this peak, life is Roblox. And, at, and there was even like little like quotes at the top. There was little quotes at the top where it was talking about like what you're seeing and where you are. And it was, it was all very beautiful. But, but chat, if you were taking, if you were in the stall that I was in, there was also a mirror in front of you. <laughs> it was a full size mirror that took up the entire wall. So I could either look up in front of me and see the absolute state that I was in, or I could turn to the right and I would see the beautiful view. It was kind of like a, kind of a religious experience to be honest. I had options, yeah. I literally had options. I could see the protruding forehead vein. Really just makes you reflect. Literally. You could see all the effort that I'm exerting. Yeah, exactly. Gotta race your mirror self to see who finishes first. Okay. <laughs> and so that was the girls' bathroom, right? Let me show you guys the boys' bathroom. This shit was so fucking funny. Hold on, I wonder if I can see, like, one that has, like, the... Where would it be? I wonder if you can, like, see it. Okay, here it is. Here it is. This was the... This was for guys. <laughs> so you would... Your urinal was right in front of you, and I can't, I don't know where the sign is, but basically there's like some text somewhere. I think it might be on the window, but maybe it's not in this picture. And it says, go ahead, take a picture. Everyone else is too. Don't be scared. Don't be worried. Don't worry. Everyone else is taking a picture too. It was so fucking funny. So everyone is just peeing with a view, and it's the best thing ever just absolutely stunning it does really feel like you're taking a piss on on the entirety of the soul skyline very majestic like this is this is your throne this throne belongs to you yeah it, there's a sign that literally encourages you to take a picture too which is the funniest fucking thing ever <laughs> now all of soul has seen your dick <laughs> it's so it's such a peaceful piss yeah if you guys like you know could piss anywhere in the world i highly highly recommend namsan tower truly a soul changing experience <laughs> peak pissing spot so people can see you too uh yeah wait no i don't think so it's worse you're so fucking high up no way maybe an astronaut could Sure, maybe like a, if you were like an astronaut with like a 10,000 time mag magnifying telescope with enhancements. You can wave to NASA. Someone with the drone could see you. I highly doubt a drone would be able to like fly up this far. Um, also, uh, for the Babel buddies that reside in the bow comfy cove server um you will you will uh <clears throat> recall a day in which i asked all of you to help me forge a doctor's note um basically i had booked a k-pop dance um a k-pop dance session uh with the girls and uh yeah Everyone forgot about it, and I tried to get my money back, and I couldn't. And there were, and the people that were like, basically the people that was like the third party app that booked the appointments and deals with refunds and shit. 
They were really on my ass, okay? I, like, concocted this whole story, basically, of when I, I was like, Hey, man, like, this is so unfortunate. I actually missed my flight from Jeju because uh, my friend... And I looked around, I was like, guys, what, what, what medical condition would cause this that I cannot, like... That I wouldn't need to have medical record of that we can just like you know they're like maybe a seizure like maybe you could say that and and just you know because like you you there's like the the kind where you could just get up and continue your day and I was like oh so you wouldn't need to go to the hospital for that like oh okay we'll just say that and then well uh, that didn't work and then they're like okay can we see your plane tickets that uh, you had missed from Jeju to Seoul. And I was like, uh, chat, can you forge me something really quick? And like, you guys sent me, like, you <laughs> people like were so stupid. You guys were sending me like really poorly Photoshop shit to troll with me. It was so annoying. I was like, chat, please, this is time sensitive. And then, and then fucking Shadow's dumbass was like, uh, here's, here's some, here's a, here's a donation. He sent me a $200 and then in the notes of the Streamlabs donation was like, this is proof of your flight. And I was like, that's not, ugh. holy fuck, you guys are so fucking annoying. It was literally like a fucking... This, dear teacher, my daughter did not make it to her flight. Please excuse her for being absent. I was like, hello? What? And then, oh my God, the fucking like, the fucking people that I was talking to were so annoying. They kept asking me for proof and shit. And I was like, they're like, do you have any medical records? And I was like, oh, I'm not getting my money back, am I? I went through four different operators to try and like work something out. I was like, I don't need my money back. Like, can I at least just like rebook it for like a different day? Or like, can I at least get like a, like a, like a gift card or something? Like, can I, can I get anything back? And they just completely ghosted me until this last guy, the, the, the fifth and last operator I talked to was like, um, yeah, I'll I'll call the fucking I'll call the place and ask them. And I was like, "Thank you. That's all I fucking wanted. Like I just needed to contact the 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 venue and ask them if they could accommodate for us or like or like let us be an hour late or something." And then they just they were like, "Oh, um the operator said no, but I, but you could try to contact the venue through Instagram. And I was like, so you weren't actually talking to the business? They're like, no, I was just talking to someone else also via the app. I was like, I'm going to jump. I'm just going to jump, dude. I'm actually going to jump. I just, please, can anyone just let me talk to the actual people that I am, like, going to see and book this appointment through? Like, I, I can't! <laughs> And finally, the one thing that actually helped me get anywhere was when I was I was pretending to talk in broken English and that actually got me pretty far. And I finally found like someone that I could call and talk to. For some reason, me talking in perfect English got me nowhere, but me talking in broken English got me so much further than all the other operators. And then when I finally got to like, like an actual human being, I got ghosted and I was like, well, <gasps> we are not getting that money back. But Everyone was like, sorry, it's okay, Bal. Like, we all messed up. Like, we'll just send you, like, our share of the appointment or whatever. And I was like, okay. I mean, like, I didn't want you guys to have to do that. But, yeah, everyone forgot about it. And, uh, and there was, like, a spontaneous, like, plan that happened. And such is life. Scammed again. Why does this keep happening to me? It didn't happen in Japan. Why does it keep happening to me in Korea? Well, anyways, at least we still had fun. <laughs> Everyone
everyone was laughing their asses off, like, in the fucking chat. They were like, just trolling me! You motherfuckers were trolling me the entire time! You're like, Bao, can't you just buy? I was so close to buying an actual flight from Jeju to Seoul in order to prove that we had actual that this event that I clearly lied about had actually occurred so that I could just refund the flight later. <laughs> <laughs> but I was like, you know what? What if I can't refund the flight and I just lose more money? And I was like, you know, I'm just going to take the L. We're just, we all took the L that day. But it made for a fun story time. At least you guys liked it. At least you guys laughed. Um, so yes, now... We're into stories. Uh, also, here's a picture, a screenshot of what my phone looked like while I was in Korea. Every morning at random hours of the day were a ton of public safety alerts. And like, I guess old people just kept escaping. I don't know if like a nursing home just like left a door open or what. But I translated this in my translator app, and it was just all old people going missing. And like, or I don't know, like, where are they going? Why are old people all escaping? Where are they coming from? And why are there so many? And and why can't anyone catch them? Aren't they supposed to be slow? How, how do so many just seemingly keep getting out from where they're supposed to be? Is someone, like, stealing grandpas or something? Like, how fast are these grannies? What on earth? I know! Every- and, and this isn't even all of it, Chad. This is just a single screenshot. Like, if I kept scrolling, it was, like, two pages worth. And I was like, this feels, like, a little dystopian. Oh, what the fuck is going on? The cult got them. Oh, my God. Like, the cult got them or something. Well, I don't know. I don't know the context of this, but it was very worrisome. Like, and, you know, I don't know Korean. I just took a screenshot, and I was like, oh, my gosh. Like, why? Where are all these old people going, and why does my phone keep going off? I don't know. What, I don't know the, the cultural connotation of this. I want to imagine it's the same person over and over. Yeah, well, I mean, I still, like, look, I still translated it and kept an eye out for it, but, like, all the descriptions were just so vague, like, how, how can I find, like, this height grandma with, like, like, the c same color clothes that literally everyone else is wearing? I feel like people should take better care of their grandmas or grandpas or what is, I don't know, uh, they keep, they keep getting, getting out. But yes, that was very spooky, man. Um, also, when I first landed, there was a Korean woman in front of me watching Mean Girls. And when we landed, the screen paused. The screen paused and I looked in front of me and it was literally this, this scene in Mean Girls. And it was a fucking Korean woman watching it. I can't. There's no way she knew either. The subtitles, bro. <laughs> I was like, this is not real. This cannot be real. She was like, and it was this Korean woman that like was the only one in the, her entire row. And so like she just had it on the monitor of the seat opposite to her. And it would it was just frozen on this screen as we were landing. I can't. No, no, no. I censored it. Tides. I censored it. The word, it was the entire word when I saw it. That, that, that block right there is from me. It, no, it wasn't censored, bro. I was like, oh. <sighs> That's crazy, bro. <laughs> no way she knew either. Anyways, um... Ah, yes. Here's some pictures of food. This is really yummy. Um, it's called oxbone soup. So, so basically, uh, when you go to like, when you have a hangover, you're supposed to drink 
or eat this. It's basically like ox bone that's been simmered in a broth for a really long time and it's full of collagen and vitamins and like really good stuff and it's supposed to help you get over your hangover and you just eat it with rice um when you when it's given to you it's quite bland at first but you season it yourself like you add um uh crushed red pepper salt and pepper and there's meat and some noodles in there and a lot of green onions and you just eat it with rice it's a very simple meal um and uh i love to have this after like a really like crazy night or something so highly recommend it's called uh it's basically the hangover soup um, and then this is when we went to Myeongdong. Uh, it's like a very famous shopping, like outdoor shopping area. And there was lots of food stalls. And I had this like really fresh, like garlic, uh, garlic shrimp that was uh, seared on a grill. It was so, so yummy. I really miss it. I wish I bought another skewer. Also, um, this is a public apology to Shoto. Um, I'm sorry, I thought you were trolling me. So basically, we went to this restaurant and it was right after we went to like a massage. We all had like, we all had massages and we got out, we finished and we're like, man, that was a really great massage. Like I, I really wanna get some food now. And we just literally right next door was this really yummy like, uh, Korean restaurant we walked in and they gave us like a ton of platters and uh, they gave us rice that was in um, this like heated up metal bowl and after you scrape it out they just leave the the leftover rice that's stuck to the walls of the bowl there for a while until it gets crispy and then they pour water in it and I thought that oh they must be pouring water in it to make doing the dishes easier because like wouldn't that be so annoying to have to like scrape you know rice like crusty dry rice off of the ridges of a metal bowl that sounds impossible but show was telling me like no bow this is an actual dish it's called like burnt rice soup and i was like i was like i know your ass is not trying to make me drink dishwater right now okay like what how how delicious what what are you talking about you want you want me to drink rice with water something is not adding up here he's like no bow i swear to god i've been somewhere before like i swear to god this is an actual thing it's it's supposed to it's not supposed to be flavorful but it's just like like a palate cleanser at the end like it's supposed to taste like bland kind of like um uh what is it called you know like burnt rice tea what is that called um, it's, it's like, you know, there's this tea that's like made out of burnt rice. It's like that. It's like barley tea. Like, yeah, 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 whatever. And I was like, no, 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 no. Oh yeah, hoji cha. It's like, it's supposed to be like hoji cha, but like edible. I was like, no, nah, you're trolling, dude. You're, oh, gen my cha. It might be gen my cha, whatever. Like that, similar to that. I just did not fucking believe him. <laughs> and I was like sipping it too. And I was like. Bro, this tastes like ass. <laughs> this doesn't taste like shit. You telling me, you telling me like this is a dish? Like, okay, nice try, dude. Nice try. And then we went to a restaurant literally that night with Numi, and they had burnt rice soup on the menu. And he stood up, he's like, I told you! I fucking told you, bitch! I you you thought I was trolling you, you dumbass! It's real! I was like, damn. <laughs> Uh, oh, I suppose you weren't trolling me. He, he would have gotten me. He would have gotten my ass. Okay, like I looked, I I ate it and everything. Um, yeah, you caught me, bro. Okay, I guess it's real. All right, I didn't know. I didn't know. Okay, I've never had anything like this before. <laughs> well, uh, hey, I I didn't know. Okay, I'm not a fucking. I'm not a local. Who? How was I supposed to know? It's a Chinese thing too. Well, I wouldn't fucking know. I'm not. I'm not. I'm American. <gasps> Hi, Suko. I love you, Suko. Every culture that eats rice makes use of burnt rice somehow. 
I have never heard of this before, and I'm clearly, I've clearly been whitewashed beyond b repair or something, because I don't fucking know. I thought this man was trying to make me drink dish water, but it, but now I like it. Okay, I think the problem with the first dish that I had was that the rice wasn't burnt enough, and so it just tasted like ricey water. But then the second time that we had it that night, they it like had been thoroughly crisped, and so there was actually some smoky flavor to it, and then I. Could actually believe him that way but yeah did not know burnt rice soup was a thing sorry about that show my bad i was fighting him too i was like making fun of him and shit he was so mad at me just for the dish to be real i can't <laughs> well i've heard of rice burnt rice like like eating it. I never heard of like using the leftover burnt pieces to make a soup. I know you can burn rice and eat it. I didn't know you could make a soup out of it. But yeah, new recipe. Geary new recipe. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Ideal dish for Geary? That is so fucking funny. Geary has a future career in Korea. <laughs> You guys are so fucking mean. I'm telling her. Um, so yeah, like these are all fucking sides, except the two like meat dishes in the middle. So beef tartare. Oh yeah, this fucked my ass up. By the way, um, yeah. Apparently, you can have like a rare raw beef is very well liked in Korea, <clears throat> and uh, I was really excited to try it because I've always seen people eat it. Um, basically, it, like, I don't think... There's no, there's no, like... There's nothing wrong with it, okay? What happened to me was that my stomach was not used to the bacteria of a different country. And I got very sick. Um, so even though it's safe to eat, like, just know that your stomach has a microbiome that is used to like bacteria is based off of where you live. So yeah. Shut the fuck up, Tarm! We don't talk about that, okay? It was one fucking time. But anyways, yes. How many days sick? I was sick for maybe like two days of the trip, which wasn't that bad, but yeah, that this fucked me up. This beef tartare, that fucked me up. So uh I mean, even when I was in Japan, I ate a raw egg and immediately fucking died, so. It is what it is. And here is the Han River at sunset. It's really, really pretty. Yuzu took this picture for me. Um, yes, I was dressed like a grandma. You can laugh at me. Um, but yeah, here's the Han River. We were all, like, enjoying the view. Um, and we took lots of pictures. Uh, there's lots of picnicking happening on um, behind us. Uh, I wish we thought of that to thought of like to do that because it was such beautiful weather that day. Um, but yeah, like the Han River, there's like tons of like gardens and you can go on walks and people are with their dogs and their kids. Um, people are biking. There's also like a uh, ship that's also a building nearby and you go in there and there's like little cafes and stuff. You can like buy, conveni there's a convenience store inside. So like say you wanted to go picnicking but you didn't have food, you would go into that little, um, <clears throat> it's kind of like a boat slash deck and you walk inside and there's a convenience store. You can buy food there and just like enjoy the view. It's so, so pretty. Also, people love poodles in Korea, especially like the white poofy poodles. But the thing is, when you think of a white poodle, you think of like the really crusty dogs that people have. But like, bro, they take really good care of their dogs in Korea because none of them had eye boogers and they all wear outfits. They all wear like human clothes like little sweaters they always have like little boots on like they they treat them like little kids there it's crazy but yeah i saw a lot of really cute dogs and really cute clothes um <clears throat> and uh here's my f my favorite korean dish uh, it's called naengmyeon which is cold noodles uh it's like a i think it's like a beef broth based soup and uh you eat it with like I think that's buckwheat noodles. I don't know. There's something. It's really chewy. And there's like pickled radish and there's a boiled egg. Um, and there's like a little bit of like uh, red pepper paste. 
which is really good. Um, and sesame seeds and cucumber. It's such a nice dish to have on like a hot day. Um, yes, and it's like also vinegar based. So like the soup is kind of like sour. Oh, it's so good. And uh, sometimes they have like brisket with it too. Um, and they'll always give you a uh, horseradish, like the sauce. It looks like mustard, but it's actually horseradish. No, I didn't. We just walked there. I don't have a Korean phone number. Don't know how to do. Don't know how to do that. Um, but yeah, the thing about Korean noodles is if you have a gag reflex, you definitely should ask for scissors. Um, if you don't ask for scissors, uh, you will choke on it and you will fucking die. Okay, every time they... So you see at the bottom left corner, there's a pair of scissors there. Yeah, I requested for that because I have a gag reflex. And uh, well, um, unlike a lot of uh, lucky folk out there, I have to cut these noodles up because it is really difficult to chew it's very chewy and it's very difficult to swallow without choking so uh yeah unless you can gawk gawk really well yeah this is this will kill you if you don't cut it up D and don't say i didn't warn you either okay the next time you order cold noodles don't say i didn't warn you uh oh look rare bow sighting look it's me except i'm uh a sewer hole I thought it was cute. <laughs> bow reference? Bow reference real? Look guys, I'm full of trash. And I have two blowholes this time. Anyways. Uh, I had marinated soy crab, which was super duper yummy. Um, everyone else didn't really like it. Um, but I really liked it. I thought it was the best soy crab I've ever had. Um, but... Yeah, it's definitely not for everyone. It's also one of those dishes that are like, you either hate it or you like it. Um, I personally love raw marinated soy crab. I'm also allergic to crab, raw crab, but I don't care. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I ate Yuzu's portion and I ate my portion and it was super yummy. Um, and I didn't get sick or anything. My lips just get uh free botox afterwards so yeah i really like raw spicy crab more i will say raw soy crab's not my favorite i prefer the spicy kind also when we went to latte world uh there was a crispy cream and pokemon collab so i got this psyduck and it was super cute and it was filled with like um banana flavored cream it was very cute and then the little like beak and stuff is all like white chocolate Look at it! This is Psyduck. And then, uh, I just wanted to share with you guys what a McDonald's menu looks like in Korea. They fucking sell chicken wings in Korea! Isn't that crazy? There's fucking, like, in-bone chicken wings that you can buy in, in a McDonald's at Korea. And I was like, what the fuck? Why don't we fucking have that? They're also like decently priced too, yeah. There's also, um, what is that? Uh, mozzarella sticks, they have chicken, chicken wraps. Uh, they have uh, different sauces. Like, like I think they really like sweet chili here. Um, all the burgers, some of the burgers have like, uh, like little, what is it? The little stamps on it, the little burn stamps on it for like fun events right now there's a panda event happening in the mcdonald's in korea because there's a famous there's a famous family of pandas called the bao family pandas they're literally called the bao pandas it's literally me it was so cute but yeah there's a famous family of pandas and uh, they're doing a collab with korea and that's why there's pandas on these little those little burger buns it's my family. <laughs> I'm a, I'm part of a, a family of pandas, apparently. Um. Anyways, so what else do they have? They have Big Macs, bulgogi hash brown burgers. That's fucking crazy. Uh, they also have like lots of lots of coffees. Korea loves coffee because uh, one. 
you don't get hungry on coffee so people get people use it like to stay skinny and then people really like tasteless coffee i don't know what it is but everyone loves americanos for some reason like that's their that's like the dr the coffee drink to have in in korea but like when i had it it tasted like i'm gonna be honest it tastes like watery coffee so i don't know why people like it couldn't be me and then they have so much ice cream there's a strawberry McFlurry, there's a strawberry cone, there's Oreo McFlurry, strawberry Oreo McFlurry, chocolate Oreo McFlurry. What the fuck, man? Where's my fucking chalk like strawberry chocolate Oreo McFlurry? What the fuck? It tasted very good too. And then uh we went to the uh Seoul forest there's a wait there's a very famous like outdoor garden center and it's connected to like all these parks and stuff and uh, we were next to this library that you can reach by walking along these paths and they have a they have a library cat they have a built-in little uh kitty house outside of uh the library and he she he, he just uh, he or she i don't know just hangs out at the bottom of the stairs next to the house and they, oh look at the kitty cat he's just like watching the birds and he was so sweet he let everyone come up and pet him and nuzzle him such a good little fat cat very well taken care of and so fluffy so cute hi dragon slayer thank you did you go to mom's touch i really wanted to go to mom's touch but like all every time we got to a mom's touch it was closed so i'm really sad but i did have really yummy korean fried chicken while i was there so i'm not too sad about it but yeah mom's touch is like like a very famous like chicken chain in korea and uh people say this is what foxy rainy told me she told me that it's called people say it's called mom's touch chicken because it tastes like a milf cooked it for you that's literally what she told me but yeah unfortunately i did not go i wish i did though but that is the lore apparently did you go to a cat cafe no i went to a dog cafe though i i don't have pictures of it on my phone i have it on um my uh digital my other camp my i had a camcorder that i was using for vlogging also uh there's like really yummy stores that stay are 24 7 um this one is right next to me and numi's hotel and so i got omu rice and then she got ramen with yuzu also yuzu could could not stop fucking laughing over the dumbest fucking like meme ever they kept fucking laughing over i wonder if i can find it where is it it's so fucking stupid it's it's actually so fucking stupid they they just kept they kept referencing this every possible time they could it was just this meme of charlie pooth whenever he wants lunch he tells his driver i'm hungies and every time like we would go somewhere they would be like yuzu why 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 are we here right now or like we would see other like people eating or like, oh, I'd be like, oh, look, there's like a, a bunch of like school kids here. It's like really late, but they're all hanging out and having fun. That's so cute. And then and then Numi would be like, I wonder what brought them to this restaurant. <laughs> and then Yuzu would just start fucking crying. Charlie Puth denies being hungies. It's so fucking stupid, but they wouldn't fucking stop laughing. It was to the point that Yuzu actually started like having actual tears form in her eyes and, and just fall down her face. Like there were tears dripping from her chin and her eyes were completely bloodshot. And it was like 20 minutes into us sitting down eating. She had only taken one bite because she couldn't stop fucking laughing laughing and she was like holding on to the side of the wall that she was leaned on because she couldn't like keep herself upright anymore it was so stupid and she, she was laughing so fucking hard <laughs> she just, and she couldn't even say the joke either she would like begin to say i'm hungies and then immediately just break down crying laughing 
<laughs> so stupid. Really? Oh, what is that? Oh, that's from the Honkai stream yesterday. My bad. I'm Hungies. <laughs> Charlie Booth is Hungies. <laughs> so stupid. I can't. And uh, yeah, that is the story of this Omu rice dish. <laughs> they had noodles and it took like 10 years for Yuzu to eat hers because she wouldn't stop fucking laughing over Charlie Booth laugh. Like being Hungies? I don't even know. And then Numi reserved us like this really cute, this really fancy restaurant at the top of the Latte World Tower. And this is all we got. We got, um, I think salmon tartare. We had this really yummy, uh, like fresh cream cake. And it was like, it looked so, so cutely decorated. It was, it, the outside was like a really cream whipped, a very fresh whipped cream icing filling. I don't know. And, uh, there was like a melon like an orbed melon, some weird berries that I don't know the names of. These were like berries I've never had before. I don't know what berries they were. That's definitely a blueberry though. And then uh, we had this, uh, I think it's Papardelli. Papardelli. Parpardella. -pa -par Parpardella. How do you say it? Oh yeah, they have like the fancy grapes. No, but this one's actually, this was actually a melon. It was like green melon. But I had a lot of Tanghulu in Korea. It was very, very famous. Like lots of, lots of, uh, and I don't think Tanghulu is from Korea, but like everyone loves Tanghulu in Korea. And like we had so much yummy. Shine Muscat. That's the, what's what the green grape is called in Korea. I don't know why it's called Shine Muscat, but that's what it's called. It gives me. <clears throat> And then we had this, I think it was a filet mignon, and it was in this, like, beef demi-glaze, and there was some mashed potatoes, and then I gave my spinach to show, because I don't like spinach, and I also gave my tomato away, because I don't like tomato. <laughs> and then this is a mushroom soup, and, uh... The spoon was really small, so I just picked it up and drank it, like a fucking Neanderthal, and I don't regret it. Because it was really yummy. Oh, yeah. Also, photo booths are really popular in Korea. So every time we went to, like, a little shopping center, there would be these, like, these stores that you can walk in and they had these photo booths lined up. And on the sides, they would have mirrors for you to, like, do your makeup and, and brush up your hair. And you could also put on, like, costumes. They would have, like, accessories like sunglasses or mustaches or wigs or like um headphones and you would just like dress up and then go into the photo booth and take a, a ton of pictures and this one was like really cute it was supposed to be like kind of y2k themed and it took there's like places that you know they just take a forward facing picture but this one was like i think the camera was at the top corner of the room and it was facing downward so it could catch your whole body so it was really really cute and me and numi took such cute pictures together <laughs> but yeah we, we did a ton of stuff like this too i really liked it um what else also thank you show um i think uh this was when uh i can't remember I think this was when like Sho and everyone went shopping and I got lost for three hours and was really sad. So Sho got me a macaron to make me feel better. It was like a kinako powder macaron, but he put it in his backpack. So um, it's a little busted. <laughs> he pulled it out and was like, hey, Val, I got you a gift. And I was like, oh, you did? What is it? He's like, here you go. And I was like, oh, you shouldn't have. What is it? He's like, well, um, it was a macaron. And I was like, wow. Thank you, man. <laughs> he left it in his backpack and forgot about it. <laughs> it's the thought that counts. I love show. I'm uh, So this was really interesting. Um, I've obviously censored uh, the bee. Um, you guys have already seen this on Twitter, but I went, I was walking around after my nail appointment and there was a coffee shop called this. It was called the, 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 why is it called that, bro? Like, I can't, I, I understand.
understand, right? It's like like a coffee bean, and like it's it's like a a bro, you know, like haha, like a coffee coffee bean bro. But uh, that that's not that's not that's not that's not what it means. <laughs> <laughs> and like there were a ton of people in the replies on Twitter that are like that were that were clearly from Latin like South America or like spoke Spanish. They were like, hey yo, my my family's at the store. I was like, what? <laughs> it was so fucking funny. Why is everyone laughing? I can't. Everyone was so. Everyone was like, literally, me and the bros at this at this coffee shop right now. <laughs> so stupid. Who's go, who's gonna tell them? Chat. They have. They already have like an established chain with this name. Oh yeah. You know the one uh famous like egg egg sandwich shop that is. I know it's like you can you can eat in in california it's called and i think the new one just opened up in chicago it's called egg slut it's literally called egg slut they had to censor it in korea so it's called egg drop in korea <laughs> yeah so they so they censored egg slut but they didn't censor this which I thought was really fucking funny. So like when I tried looking up, like on Google, it said that there was an egg slut near me. But then when I looked it up on the cacao and neighbor maps, it didn't show up. And I was like, I wonder why that is. But we went to the address and I was like, oh, it's called egg drop here. How come it's called egg slut on Google? Well, that's because they had to fucking censor it. <laughs> ah. Oh, and then this is where I got my hair dyed um, and cut. I went to this hair salon chain called Juno Hair Salon. I, I, I feel like it's like the... It's like a very elevated... It's like a much, much better Great Clips of Korea. Like, there's a Juno Hair Salon literally everywhere. And, like, it's very interesting. Because, like, the service and the color I got and the way that my hair was cut was so, like top notch i was very shocked that this was like a chain like hair hair salon it was a very very good hair salon and they gave me like a scalp massage too it was so nice and uh, yeah i just um my hair before it was like kind of this uh rusty orange brown color and uh they dyed it kind of like a like a coffee color so yeah it's just my hair color now <laughs> yeah Oh, chat's so nice to me. I love my chat. So sweet. How'd you get an appointment? <laughs> uh, I this this website that I used um didn't require neighbor. It just was like book an appointment. Use like uh, uh your cacao talk or um line ID. So like. <clears throat> You know how you know how you have WhatsApp in America? Like we have in, in Korea, like people use Kakao Talk, and in Japan they use Line. It's just like a messaging app, basically, and uh, you can sign in with any of those things and book an appointment like that. And they don't need like all the crazy stuff for it. Yeah. Oh, stop! My chat's so sweet to me. <laughs> so cute and then i got my nails done i went to this place called maho nails and uh they they like oh my god it was so so perfect um they had this cute little salon it was just one girl and uh, i sent her a picture on i actually found her on google and then i i found uh that she books appointments through instagram and so i contacted her there and then uh it was it was very english friendly but i still used like a translator to talk in korean just because like i was i was very scared of like i don't know i i was scared that if i only spoke in english i'd be like ignored or something um or like you know, I, I didn't know if it was, like, rude to do that or not. So I just did that. But, yeah, she was so, so sweet. She was so nice. She knew, like, she knew good English, too. And uh, she made this these designs for me. I just found a design off of Pinterest, and she did it for me. And, yeah, it was, it was my favorite thing ever. I love this. This is my, definitely my favorite nails I've ever gotten.
because uh they she used this thing called polymer um to make the designs 3d so she like would mix uh nail polish with the powder and then she would mix it mix it up and then she would draw the little the bunny shape and the bear shape and like all the little like rainbows um and yeah and so when i touch it it feels like hard jelly it just feels like hard jelly like i want to eat it I want, every time i look at my nails i get so happy yeah i love getting my nails done it's like mm, i don't know it just makes me happy but yeah you can't get this this style done in america because like i've never met anyone in america that does this style it's more popular in asia and uh people have no idea when i when i show them pictures like that uh, here in america they don't know what the heck it how it's done at all but in in like asia this is like a very popular thing to have done so i'm very happy yay there's also very uh seasonal uh treats that you can get when you go to cafes and stuff so this is when i went to egg slut or egg drop in korea i got like this st strawberry latte it's just like strawberries um with milk but oh my god it was so good it was so fresh and creamy and yeah i had to take a lot of lactate on this trip it was worth it though and then i got these really yummy egg sandwiches that were on uh like milk bread oh so good so freaking good oh i wish i had this nearby i'd get so fat but yes uh here's me at the studio ghibli store at the latte mall they have the little scene from spirited away when when she's on the train and she's heading her back home it's so cute i took a picture here i also bought that trench coat it's very cute it's, i i um didn't really understand the power of trench coats until i got to korea and i was like damn all the hot girls wear trench coats i want to wear a trench coat so so yeah e <laughs> e flasher chic i hate you all um yeah so the girlies got this for me um because they said it looked like me thanks uh you guys shouldn't have uh, what what you shouldn't have please uh, yeah it literally comes with a fucking comb why do they hate me so fucking bad, bro? They fucking hate my ass. Like looking into a mirror. Really? Wow. You think so? It looks just like me? Um, you're fucking banned. You're better than me. I would have went insane. That's you after eating crab. I hate all of you. They laughed so fucking hard too. Like when they saw it and they were like, Bao just, they held it up to my face. Like, oh my God, doesn't it look like Bao? And everyone started laughing and I was like, my friends sure do love me. Chills, it's literally her. Shut the fuck up, please. Oh, also, they, okay, I, I tried these eye masks for the first time in Japan, but they have them here in Korea too. It's these like heated eye masks and they have like, a, they have like scents. With them like it when okay sorry i i have a habit of starting 50 sentences at the same time um <clears throat> so you know like a heat pack like a hand heat pack you you open the wrapper and it, it just starts to heat up it's like that but uh very uh i don't know it's like a very gentle warmth and it's on your eyes so if you have really dry eyes this is heating your eyes like a little bit is very helpful and i have really bad dry eye um and it smells really good there's like aromatherapy it built inside the eye mask and it's disposable so you can just like toss it wherever but i use these on my flights and uh yeah they work like a charm they just heat it up like to a very comfortable temperature on my eyelids and i just fell asleep i love these so much um what else and then we took this really cute uh they, we got these caricatures done in Korea. And look, there's me at the top left. That's me at the top left. And then... I literally don't know. Uh, excuse me. I think Yuzu's at the bottom and Numi's at the top. 
and then show is in the middle. And we were, and then we were just with a friend, but yeah, we all look like little me's, but it's so cute. Uh, I I feel like the caricatures in America are no offense, no offense, kind of ugly, but these are actually kind of cute. And then um, this is uh, oh yeah, we got color analysis is done. Uh, color analysis are basically like you go some to this. You go to this appointment and they have you like take off all your makeup and uh, put your hair like behind your head and they hold up these like felt color posters um, underneath your chin and they will tell you what colors work with your skin tone and your hair and like what hair colors work well with you, what kind of makeup works well with you, um, like what kind of skin tone you are, uh, what would what colors like bring out like your best features and whether or not like all oh, this color like makes you look uh it, it kind of like makes you look uh too red or maybe this kind of this color drains you a little bit it makes you look pale like kind of ghosty kind of dead um and uh, i it's like kind of expensive i think like each person uh for like a two hour session was like $75, but then like there's different packages. So like for for our package, it was just like solely our, like, like the colors that would look best on us and like what kind of makeup style would look best on us, what kind of hair color would look best on us. But like if you buy different packages, they'll do the whole thing. They'll like tell you what kind of clothes would look good on you, like you know, what kind of fit what kind of clothing fit looks good on you. Um, they'll do your makeup for you and like show you like how to do makeup with like your, like with to match your skin tone and bring out like the best features of your face. Like they, you can like make it as like detailed as you want and the price will go very, very high, like 200, 300 plus. But I, I just booked like the 75 like basic thing for everybody um, and uh, yeah, it was really cute because like we were all sitting on opposite sides of each other. Like, um, we would, uh, <laughs> but it was so funny. They separated us, um, by like our tones. So all the cool tone people sat on one side of the, on the other side of the, ta the table, like on the other tables. And then all the warm, warm tones would sit on the right. <laughs> and it was like, um, this feels a little, um, little racially motivated <laughs> it was so funny and they're like the cooler the cooler tones and the warmer tones okay buddy it, right 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 by tones got it tell me why me yuzu and numi were on the other side of the table show abandoned us too isn't that so fucked up you were supposed to be one of us bro and he abandoned us <laughs> so stupid um but yeah if numi was so annoying like i felt so i felt kind of bad for the girl that was like giving us our analysis because i i hope to god she didn't think we were making fun of her i don't think she did but like we knew me so fucking stupid every time like she was like listening to like the analysis of like our colors and they would do this thing where we had to flip the colors back and forth so like okay uh show color one okay now show color two and then like she would flip it back and forth to like kind of gauge which one would match her skin tones better and Numi would just make the funniest fucking faces like hyper giga chad riz face while she's like trying to an she's like fake writing down notes and analyzing how the colors look on us like mm, yeah that's the one mm, yeah no this is it this is it Ooh, mm, maybe not this one mm -mm, no this one's definitely draining you like she was just like like mouthing shit and and fake writing it down. It was so fucking funny. <laughs> and we kept doing that. Anyways. So un so we're so stupid. We're so stupid. And then me and Yuzu, whenever it was Numi's turn, like we would just we would like fake whisper to each other like mm, yeah this is really mm, yeah mm -hmm, yeah uh, this is mm, no no i don't think ooh like are you gonna tell her because like i don't want to tell her <laughs> so stupid we're 
we're just listening. We're not even analyzing anything. We're just listening to the instructor tell us like why a certain color matches us better as opposed to the other one. <laughs> so stupid. But yes, I found out that I'm a very warm, uh, I'm a very warm toned girl. Uh, some cool tones work on me, like some, well, not, well, I guess not cool tones, but like, I don't know. I'm a, I'm considered a bright spring and a muted autumn. So like with Yuzu, like really pretty, really like dark colors work for her. Like, like emeralds, they really like bring out the life in her like cheeks and uh for numi i think like greens really not was it greens greens and reds also like re look really really good on her and then for me it's more like uh here i show more pictures like th this is this this is like the color palette that i should be looking for when i go shopping for clothes and uh, they give you these little circles that are made out of felt so that if you go shopping, you can like pull out the circles and then you can like hold them against like clothing you wanna buy and see like whether or not they are, they fall into the color range that you wanna go for. <clears throat> An article. <laughs> but yeah, I'm a muted autumn and I'm a bright spring. <laughs> that was so stupid, yeah. It was really fun though. Bosca and Lily, like, they all have, like, they're, like, perfect for, like, really pretty pastel cool tones. Like, a sky, like, a perfect sky blue or, like, a, I don't know, like, a, not a coral pink, but just, like, a, like, a really cute heart valentine pink. I don't know. <clears throat> I think Sho was, like, his color was, like, royal blue or something. Like, she, he had, like, a color that was, like... We all each had like a color that was like, this is our color. Like we have to get this color for at some point in our wardrobes. Cause like, this is, this is like the color we want to be in. And like me, Numi and Yusu got ugly ones. And then Sho got like literally the prettiest color. And I was like, I hate him. <clears throat> oh, and then uh, this is what I bought at Latte World. It's really cute. It's matching headbands in a backpack. So we all got little headbands. Mine has a caterpillar on it because I thought it was cute. And I got this puppy backpack. And uh, Yuzu, Numi, Lily, uh, and Sho got the puppy backpacks too, but we all have different color ones. Like some of ours are cream and some of us are white. It's really cute. Um, I think I forgot some pictures. Hold on, I need to put them in. Ahem. Where did I put it? Oh, here. Let me add these really quick to the PowerPoint. Bro, my, my throat is like so dry. Why is this? What's going on here? Duplicate. Mm-mm-mm-mm. <clears throat> Sorry, one second. Just adding these to PowerPoint. Now. Okay. Close. Okay. And then uh, presenter view. Okay, and then these are the clothes that I bought while I was in Korea. Um, wait, what did I just click? Oh, that's my Fuji. What about this? Oh, here. Yeah, so these are all the clothes I bought. Uh, I still need to return Numi's jeans because neither of us remember to return to get them. Numi forgot to get them from my hotel and then I forgot to bring them to her hotel. So I still have them and I will return it to her. Um when I see her, probably next month. My bad. I literally brought them all the way to Korea just for both of us to forget. I'm so goodbye. Anyway, so these are the clothes that I bought based off, based off of my uh, colors. Um, I'm a muted autumn and a bright spring. So 
And it looks kind of washed out in these pictures, but they're... They're, like... Kind of warmer toned. Except the pants. <clears throat> but, yeah, this is the clothes I bought. I like these colors. Like, these are my colors, I'd say. I don't really like crazy bright colors. I like, um... Cottage core. I don't know, chat. Every time we went to, like, a store, I'd be like, Okay, today's the day I'm gonna buy, like, really cute, sexy clothes that make me look good and fit my body. And then I walk out and I have all the clothes of a fairy's closet. And I don't know why it keeps happening. Like, I just... I can't help it, chat. Like... I keep trying to shop for myself, and I, I always gravitate towards things that make me look like I live in a, a flower garden. And I I don't know how to look sexy. I just... The, my, the sexiest things I own are probably Numi's jeans and workout clothes. <laughs> I don't know. Our hag dressed Oshi. I can't help it! I want to be a trad wife! I can't help it! Man. But, uh, yeah. That's, uh, pretty much it. I mean, we could go through all the skincare I bought, which was a fuck ton. <laughs> oh, Joe-sama is so tradcore. I can't help it, man! I can't help it! Oh. Okay, well. Fuck you guys. Alright? Fuck you guys. Don't trad wives dress like trad wives after getting married? Well, I'm just giving you guys a preview of what marriage will look like. So... So that... One day... Blythe... Okay, shut the fuck up. Stop manifesting... Oh my god, you're so annoying. Just shut the fuck up. Hold on, I'm eating. People are gonna think you're already taken. I am taken. By Blythe. I'm saving my virginity for him. Fucking duh. <laughs> I wish you were taken off the streaks. streets, TBH. What the fuck does that mean? I hate you all. I fucking hate you all. Just shut the fuck up. Time for shopping with Yuzu so she can dress you sexy? That's impossible. Okay. Yuzu could wear anything and be sexy. Numi could wear anything and be sexy. If they went to shop for me and, like, gave me shit that they would wear, I would look fucking horrific. Okay? She hates... Shut up! Why do you think I'm mask fishing all the time, bro? I don't got a face card. <clears throat> Anyways. Anyways, it's time for... Da -da -da -da! Where the fuck's my... Where's my shit? Where's my webcam? Hello? Okay. Let me just, uh... Okay. Why is it so... Oh, there we go. Is this me, or is it kind of like... Uh, foggy? Do I have anything that I can wipe this with? Oh! <clears throat> okay, chat. Oh! Flashbang! Sorry, chat. Is it is it better now? I think. bad my bad okay i'm gonna show you guys what i got now um so every store in korea 
like all the so there's this big chain called olive young and you're supposed to get all your skincare there because one it's tax free so like the if you like bring the receipt to an airport and like you go to the tax free kiosks they like put all the tax gets refunded onto your card or in cash and it's so nice <clears throat> and uh every oh my god this is so funny whenever i went to a gas station or not a gas station a convenience store everything has a buy one get one free special like usually it's like buy two get one free but in korea it's buy one get one free so i would just bring up like i would just want to try like different juices and drinks and stuff and then the lady she was so she was so nice she was like she would be like one plus one and i'd be like oh okay and i bring another one up and i'm like and then she'd be like oh this one's also one plus one. Oh, and this one's also one plus one. Oh, and this one's also one plus one so my hotel fridge was completely filled with random drinks because every single one of them was like one plus one even like laundry detergents like like feminine hygiene products like everything was just one plus one i was like damn it's like this it's already so cheap in like korean one but like now i get one plus one everything and it was so nice even like here i'll show you even like products like this so there's like korean korean hair care is more focused on scalp hair because like that's that's where your hair grows from right so if you have like a clean scalp and you take good care of your scalp and like um put like good like oils on it and um like stimulate like blood circulation to like make hair grow more then you know like you'll have healthier hair so I, that's why i bought some of these products it's like it's like for people that are either experiencing hair loss or just want like a cleaner scalp and like even when you go to like a pool or something or like you go somewhere that's like kind of like like you're just dirty from a long day of like doing being outside like you want to go home and get all the gunk out of your hair and stuff like you buy stuff like this it's very interesting and they always like have like stuff on the side like before and afters and like this is what your scalp looks like in a microscope i don't know what this is actually i don't know what this is of but yeah so it's even this is like one but one by one fuck one plus one I just want a one, but everything comes like with a double. And I'm like, damn, shit. Okay. That's nice. And then um this is uh, uh I don't know. Mediheal is like a really famous brand, I think. I just bought this. I just bought so many fucking face masks. Look, 10 plus 1. I just you I keep getting free shit. Everything is buy one get one. And then um Oh, uh, I met, um... Honey Churros! Do you guys know who Honey Churros is? She's, uh, the Korean VTuber. I met her and she gave me... She gave me gifts! Uh, she gave all of us gifts! Um, it's a forest tea box. I haven't opened this yet, so it's full of tea. Mm. Can I open this? Or am I just bad at opening things? Maybe I'm just bad. <gasps> oh my gosh! This is so cute! Jeju Camellia Tea? Oh my god, I love tea! Samda... Oh, it smells so good! Samda Tangerine Tea. Jeju Earl Grey. Jeju Pure Green Tea. Oh my god, all of the teas are from Jeju! Honey Pear Tea. Even the box smells so good. Tropical Black Tea. Oh my god! Uh, honey churros is so sweet uh, oh man it comes in like a little rainbow box and everything thank you honey churros 사랑해요. thank you she's so sweet she gave us all of this uh, i feel like this would have cost so much she's an angel and she brought us to like such yummy restaurants too and paid for everything so sweet literally an angel what else oh yeah i bought uh sunscreen look again buy one plus one i keep just I literally you are you are losing money if you just don't buy shit in korea like there's always extra stuff 
But yeah, this is my favorite uh, sunscreen. It's from a company called Round Lab. And uh, it's like a very light, super, super lightweight sunscreen. It doesn't break me out. And it's it like doubles up as a moisturizer. So I'll just wash my face. I'll put on toner. And then I put the sunscreen on. Um, and uh, it's so nice. And it just does everything I want in a sunscreen without like... I don't really like mineral sunscreens and some sunscreens like give me a white overcast but this one just is it feels like a moisturizer so that's really nice and then i got this gigantic like it's huge it's a toner and uh it's made out of heart leaf like that's the ingredient and this one's like really famous like everyone gets this toner and they have good things to say about it it's just a very calming toner it's supposed to help with like redness and mo and moisturize your skin and stuff and uh yeah i'm a big fan of like unscented products like i care more about like the like i want a specific ingredient that works and does what it needs to for my skin and i don't need it to be have like i don't need it to have like a bunch of like expensive filler ingredients i just need the the thing to do the thing which is really nice and then also like numi like had tried this uh this uh whatchamacallit it's um a hair mask from japan and literally i love this hair mask uh, this is my second no this is my third tub and because i bought two in japan i went through both of them and then i bought this one in Korea, it's it's called the Fino Fino uh, hair mask, and it's my favorite thing ever. It makes my hair feel really really nice, and I keep it on for maybe like ten minutes, and then I like uh, rinse it out, and yeah. Damn, this shit was so good, and it was so much cheaper. What else? Oh, this is kind of like the toner that I just got. It's from the same company, Anua, the Heart Leaf one, and uh, it's. Uh, it's just a daily lotion. I don't really like getting things that are like super thick and creamy. I feel like I, I clog my pores very easily. So I get like very lightweight moisturizers. And then this is, I, I got like some masks while I was there. Tori Den is also a really good brand. Um, this is like a balance full hair uh face mask it's got centella asiatica extract there's like ingredients that are popular in asia and then ingredients that are popular in america and i tend to gravitate towards the ingredients that are popular in asia because like i think it works better for my asian skin um but yeah this is supposed to like help with like redness and stuff and like blah 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 look at this shit buy one get fucking three free what the fuck this shit comes with so much. Uh, this is also from Round Lab. It's it's like uh, I got this from my brother-in-law, but it's like a toner and a lotion set, and it comes with also the. Uh, I think this is the. I think that's moisturizer. I don't know, but yeah, this is like it's made out of birch juice, and I love Round Lab. All my shit is Round Lab. What else I get? Oh, I got another MediHeal like i think these are oh yeah these are blemish pads so it comes out as like a little round flat cotton pad and you just like leave it on your face after you wash it and then you wait for a little bit or you can sleep with them on and basically you put them on like problem spots on your face and it's supposed to like help dissolve your your blemishes and stuff which is great it comes with um literally i think it's two extra boxes what the fuck and then uh manyo <laughs> manyo do you guys know that manyo is also witch in korean so like <laughs> you know that one tiktok where it's like the girl dressed up as a pilgrim and she gets someone to like record her on record her and then she'll just like jump and point at you and be like witch we kept fucking doing that all of korea and then one day yuzu asked you uh, knew me what which was in korean and she said manyo and then we did manyo <laughs> yeah this is basically my hag cream um that i wash i wash all the wrinkles off my face with this um yeah so this is also a very good brand manyo what else 
Oh, I this is also from Tori Den. Um, I like to use um sunscreens as moisturizers because like I feel like if whenever I double up on moisturizer and sunscreen, I end up just clogging my pores. So I like to just use my sunscreens as moisturizers and these are great for that like they're not greasy and they're not like giving me a crazy white cast i don't look like a ghost it's just like a very lightweight cream that is also a sunscreen yeah. and then uh i saw this go viral on tiktok it's like a bean essence it's supposed to like gently exfoliate your face and it's made out of fermented beans i don't know we'll see how it works on my skin i'm very like curious to see what it's but it's like gonna be like for me. It's also got centella asiatica. Like, you know what I mean? Like there's like there's like ingredients that are popular in Korea and popular for, versus like America. Like, no, everyone here uses retinol and everyone in Korea does not use retinol. I do not like retinol. I fucking hate retinol. I will never be influenced by by the internet again. Retinol broke me out so fucking bad. I fucking hate retinol. Everyone's like, no, no, retinol's gonna like do so much for you and i'm like fuck you that shit fucking sucks oh also i went to a uniqlo and apparently this is supposed to be my ass big so i'm gonna wear it for stream and i'm gonna see whether or not my ass is any bigger <laughs> look chat more sunscreen one plus one again holy shit you are literally losing money if you don't buy shit like this it, it's free what else i got oh um i got this i got this hair treatment from the salon i went to and uh yeah it's supposed to i don't even know Juno is the Roman name of Hera, the Greek goddess of marriage. Similarly, we named all of the products in Latin in honor of Juno's hair origins. Interesting. Mollus mare is the Latin word for soft sea, representing the vast ocean-like hair. It alleviates hair that was damaged from various hair treatments by providing nutrition. Adds a level of moisture and elasticity. I don't know. It's a hair treatment. What else I got? Oh, I got this like solid perfume. I've never had a solid perf where'd my face go? Oh, I, I never got a solid perfume before, but it comes out like a gel and then you like just rub it on your skin and uh it like just it's like not as like strong of a of a scent, so like Yeah, I just put it all over me cuz it smells really good. It's uh it it comes out like a gel. It's so strange. But yeah. It I don't know. Salt perfume is way nicer than spray. It's not based in alcohol, so it's good for us with higher acidity skin pH. Oh my god, Shiroi, you know so much. I don't know any I don't know too much about skin pH, but I'm I believe you. I literally believe you. Um and then I got this, like you're supposed to draw like your your aegyo cell with it. Yeah, uh, you guys probably don't know what aegyo cell is. It's like the eye bags under your eye. And but like in Korea and Asia, it's considered really cute to emphasize it. And so you use the light part to like highlight it, and then you use the contour part to like draw the eye bag. It's very, it's very interesting. Every time I tell like guys about this, they're like, "Why would you want your eye bags to look like?" more apparent but i'm like no no no. trust me like you draw it and then like you do the rest of your eye makeup and it makes your eyes look bigger and like really cute personally i think eye bags are really really cute but not everyone feels the same this is like a really cute like uh it's called odd grape this is my favorite blush and lipstick brand it's called roman d and i bought a bunch this one's papaya jam and this one's called milk grocery or bear fig they're, they just have cute names and they smell so good and i want to eat it but yeah oh it smells so good it smells like a smoothie anyways yeah i bought a bunch of lipstick yeah and then 
I bought... Oh, I, this is another... I don't really wear lip gloss, but this is from Roman D, so I'm excited to try it. And it looks like... It looks like a bunny's tongue. Like, the color is like the tongue... Bunny tongue. And it's so cute, and I want to eat it. I know, chat, it's bad. I shouldn't eat lipstick, but sometimes I really like to taste it, and it, like... It doesn't taste as good as it smells, but I want to try it anyway. <laughs> What else? Oh, yeah, and I bought some uh, blush. This one's called Better Than Cheek. I don't know. It's like a cute blush. And I bought... Uh, this one is for warm tones. Like, there's uh, Korean makeup palettes that tell you whether or not, like, these colors are for warm skin tones or these are for cool skin tones. And I was like, oh, I'm a warm skin tone. I should get this one. And so I've been using this, and I really, really like it. I think, like, I don't really like getting the super crazy 100 color makeup palettes because, like, it's hard to pair, like, what colors would go good together. I like the very simple ones because my brain doesn't like to compute really, like, a thousand colors. I just need to know what, like, okay, like, clearly these two go on the lid. This one goes in my inner corner and this one goes on my outer corner. Like, isn't that so simple? I don't need, like, a bajillion colors because it just makes my brain hurt. And then, um, yeah. What else? Uh, I just, like, I got these, and they're supposed to be lip, like, what is it? Like, lip brushes? You're supposed to use it to put it on your lips. So, like, lipsticks and stuff? Yeah. I don't know. And then these are just sponges. Yeah. Personally, if... Like, you know, if I had if I had balls, I would just never use makeup sponges because like I could just use my balls to dab my foundation on my face. And then like because of the warmth of my balls, it would like very evenly smooth out the makeup and melt it into my skin. And then afterwards I would wash it and just like hang it all over hang it over my shoulder. But, you know, not everyone is born with like our dreams. Oh, yeah, I haven't opened this yet, but it's also for warm skin tones. This one's fresh apricot. <laughs> it's got such cute packaging. Look, it looks like water. Isn't it so cute? This is, this is like peach, peach tones, and I'm like warm tone. It's so cute. Uh, this one's called Do It Peach, Fresh Peach, Mild Oat, Peach the Night, Bear, Apricot, Champagne, Quartz, and Apricot Jam. I want to eat it. It's so cute. Uh, but yeah, I love Roman D. It's like my favorite makeup brand. I, everything I have is like Roman D. But yeah, that's what I bought. And now you know. So many... Get away. 